Uh, Lady Gaga on the phone. Yes, Lady Gaga. Go stick a hammer, shop your ass. Moi, moi, pick up now. <laughs> She's warming up. <laughs> she sounds a little rough in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I'll show, by the time she gets here, she'll be well warmed up. I'm up to nine words per minute. Nine words per hour. It's 39 degrees. Go stick a hairbrush up your ass. Fuck you. I love shrimp. I love chocolate. Oh, gee. <laughs> GP page 909. Follow <laughs> of the screen. Yellow ochre. You know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, you know, he's a huge fan of the show. He totally gets the show. Right. No, we're going to be dark next week, at least nine days. Oh, my goodness. He's this weird rap. A weird rap. Hey, Sour Shoes, you know what you should add to that? When Gary goes, uh, you want to do things, he wants me to do things his way, but um, he thinks his way is the right way. He wants me to do things his way, but then he thinks his way is the right way. Yeah, that was the wrap-up show yesterday, Gary, about my wallet. Yeah, well, he was saying that's the, uh, his way is the only way. Yeah. Go stick a hairbrush up your ass. <laughs> no, 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 no. Here's what you got to understand. Um... Right. No, 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 no. Uh, no, 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 no. This is what I'm, no. See, I, you know, so because a lot of times we talk about it in the pre, you know, the pre rap and, you know, he comes pre-rap. to me. pre rap Yeah. And we, we talk, you know, we'll, we'll be talking, and everything is fine. And then once the commercial break, everything's fine. But then once, once we get on the air, then you'll, you'll look at me, and I get nervous. <clears throat> and then I start to <laughs> you know, something happened on the way we got here from K-Rock. You know, Steve, the intern, was in the hallway. We're giving tours of the studio. And a fan of the show, really big fan of the show, we're giving, I'm giving her a tour, and I refer to him as Steve, the intern. And it dawned on me. And he came over to me politely and said, you know, I, I, I appreciate if you just said, call me Steve. And, you know, and it dawned on me. You know, that kind of got respect. <laughs> I can so, listen to this all day. Yeah, me too. He's on fire. Oh, this so a lot is of people great. Were saying, you know, Fred and Benji wasn't staged. You know, it wasn't really organic. But here's the deal. <laughs> organic. <laughs> here's the deal. We were talking My about this stuff. You know, because, you know, Ralph will call up, and, you know, he'll call up on the wrap-up show, and he's got a lot of, you know, we put his call up, and he's got a lot of interesting things to say. But then when you talk to him just off the show, I mean, it's, it's just the same old shit, you know, same old shtick, and then he gets into it. <laughs> oh, this is too I, I would give this about a scale of one. My, professionally now, my life's annoying. <laughs> and personally, my life's annoying. I got, you got to see this new app. This just came out. This is great. Um, go over to GP. Uh, J, 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 did you put that up? I put it up on GP page nine. This is a great app. And you know, I was talking the other day. Now the droid that just came out. Yeah. Um, so wait, let me just switch topics here. You know, I ran. I ran that actor William H Macy at the Comic Con in San Diego, and he told me that you know, with all the cable channels out, William with all H. the shows, Macy. you know, like Homeland and everything that was nominated in the Emmy category, not a, not a, not a network show, or, 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 or not a network show, an Emmy category. No, I, no, I, no, I. It's on me. This is probably the end of the network. How could it you got to throw in Sonos. It's Sonos. Sonos. And I took Steely Dan, all my Steely Dan vinyl albums, and I hooked them into my Sonos. It's great. And then on my trampoline, I've got a whole Sonos system set up. For the next time we have a Hurricane Sandy, it's going to be great. That's, and that was a hurricane on the scale of nine. It wasn't a typhoon like it was in the Philippines, but it was pretty bad. So what I did was I took all my vinyl albums. You know, Pink Floyd, Shark Side of the Moon, great album. you got to hear it on vinyl. You though. know what you got to add, too? The, um, that Apple comment when he said that the... What did he say? The iPad, iPad was a misstep. M- I- iPad was Apple, a misstep. Yeah. <laughs> no, I-, I never said it was a misstep. All I said was it was kind of redundant. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking annoys me, you know, because I'll be misquoted. And I hate being misquoted. I never said that. I said the, he said it's a bit of a stumble. A bit of a stumble, right? Right, right, right. right. I said that, right. I said that on October ninth. 2009, and then you, you'll never let me live that down. But real quick, I, I know we have a lot to do today. I, I, um, I, I just want to, I just want to talk to you, boss. Now I want to just prep you on, we'll prep you. Now Scott, the engineer, did a great mix for Robin Thick. Uh, we had a lot. Robert Lamb called up. He said it was great mix. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring in two Steinways. We're going to bring in nine Steinways for, for her for her performance. It's going to be great. Now, now we have to get we have to get a preface report. <laughs> Gary, are you pre-promoting today's show? 
did free promote. <laughs> free promote. I went on up. It was great. I went on the BBC. I went on to nine different um, morning talks. I got to give you a standing ovation for today. That is wonderful. You know, you know what's great. You I'm really not at, standing, by the way, but thank you. You know what you did? You picked up at six oh nine, which was great, <laughs> and it actually is thirty nine degrees. But listen, I got to run. I got a lot right. of good guests to book. Bye, Only Gary. Bye, ahead. Bye, Gary. Okay. Right. <laughs> Holy mackerel. She had you down. Gary think of you that? know what the scariest part of that was? He what? sounds more like you than you do. Yes. And and he pretty much almost did the entire wrap up show from the other day. Yeah. Wow. Like every little but every little nuance. He had it all. I wonder if he had it written down or How it's all in his he head. Do that? Yeah. I, I love the idea of putting Sonos by the trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you do that? <laughs> Pick up some good ideas there. Sour Gary is on the phone who is um, making popcorn now to eat with a spoon. Hi, Sour Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Are you working on a puzzle, Sour Gary? No, it's a 99 piece puzzle. Hmm. <laughs> Orville Redenbacher. Hmm. Oh, that'd be good. A popcorn puzzle. <laughs> an Orville Redenbacher puzzle. Yeah, yeah. Did you know the band Hot Butter had a hit song in 1970? 19- 72, which is that right? Was after 1969. You know, you're that guy who knows all the trivia. You know, something about Jiffy Popcorn screams the 70s to me. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello? Hello? You know, it's so funny, it's so funny. I was talking to Ben Skelsa the other day. Right. And you remembered making Pop Rocks and popcorn at the same time while listening to Asia by Steely Dan. Sounds, sounds, like, you, sounds like you got another book in you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, maybe I'll do a crossword puzzle too. I matter. <laughs> Don't you feel bad you're missing out on TV doing that crossword puzzle? <laughs> so pretty, I do. Um, yeah, I was talking to uh, Ross Ross Aper the other day, and <laughs> there's so much poker, so much TV I miss. You know, there's there's another. What's that music there? behind you, Sour Gary? Oh, that's my turntable. Hmm. Can you lower it a little? I'm missing Sounds out. Sounds like he's on the wrong Howard, speed. That's the no. song. Uh, popcorn by the band Hot Bucket. Yeah, I know. It's just a little loud. <laughs> you know, it's so funny. It's so good. I was talking uh, on the wrap-up show the other day. Yeah. And, you know, guilty pleasures. Songs that you songs that you hate to admit that you love. Right. That's one of them. You know, <laughs> when I was growing up in Uniondale. Do you ever take a breath, Gary? You know, it's so funny. <laughs> we were talking the other day. You know, a year after, Gary and I were talking the other day. You know, a year after we got here, there was a gas scare. And that morning, I remember I was eating a smear of bagel with cream cheese. Right. And actually, Christmas popcorn that Mary Ann from Brooklyn sent in to me, which is kind of funny because... Is this the kind of conversation you and Mary have when you're doing the crossword puzzle? Oh, yes. I mean, the jigsaw puzzle? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I I like to wash it down with avion. It's so funny. (laughs) Don't laugh. But the other the other day. Don't worry, I'm not. Mm-hmm. In the morning, I've had to be probably I don't know sometime after nine on January ninth. I was thinking, you know, what the wrap up show. You know, in its infancy, it was the Friday show, right? And it was it was Ralph. What's what's worth watching? So you know, a couple of guys and I were talking to Derek Jones and I. You know, <laughs> wow. We some shit against the wall. We we did ISDN line testing. And, All right. Wow. <laughs> it's like I'm there with him. Hey man, sorry, the phones are all they're still. You know, having problems working out the gigs. What's going on? Um, here's the deal. So, you know, we had you up. Everybody loves you. Everybody thinks you're great on the show. But, you know, you, you, you keep digging at me. And, you know, you go a little too far. And, you know, there's, there's some repercussions. You know, what's that? Well, Howard's starting to lose his faith in me. You know, guys in the back are losing some respect for me. And, you know, I'm the producer of the greatest radio show in history, and you, you know, you're just kind of, you know, you're using a lot of liberties, and you're, you know, you just go over the top with your insults, like the other hey, guy. Hey, listen to me. You don't call me and tell me about this shit, okay? You understand me? You're an you're asshole. Not I'm not fucking around. You, you don't have to put, you don't have to put the show down, the wrap-up show down, saying that you're the lighting I on the Christmas fucking, tree. I try to elevate that shit show, you cocksuckers. He, 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 he calling me, breaking my balls. I got a sore throat, and this is what I get from you fucking people. I you're come around a, here, I got to I take a cab there every morning. You know how many times I come there and take a cab? You're such a dick. I mean, oh, here, here we are, put you on, and there's shit all over us. Yeah, there's shit all over. It's a fucking shit show. Shit all over me. I don't deserve this from you. Take a fucking walk to the fucking zoo, get a fucking flea bath, and then call me back. Okay? Real funny. You, you got anything more in your repertoire? The same old, the same shtick. Uh, you know it's what? It's never gonna get old, monkey. It's never gonna get old. Fix your face. 
And then it'll get old. <laughs> it's such a good thing to have brush up your ass. A hairbrush? Go fuck yourself. I hope you get the Zika virus. The Zika virus. Oh, I got the monkey flu from you, you animal. <laughs> Check your front below before you call me this bullshit. Seriously. <laughs> I got a fucking bad throat, okay? I don't need this fucking bullshit. You understand I, I, me? You cocksuckers are ungrateful fucks. Fuck you. Fuck the fucking wrap-up show. Don't call me back with this fucking bullshit, Gary. Go yeah. fuck yourself. Happy birthday, animal. Uh, here's Sour Shoes calling in as Baba Booey talking about the death of George Michael. <clears throat> hello, hello. Wow. George Michael. What are you saying? Well, first of all, I think we met George early on in 1985. I think right after, right after New Year's, uh, he and Andrew Ridgely of Wham were at WNBC. You know, they had just come off their huge successful hit Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go, which spent, I think, nine weeks in the top nine. So they were there at NBC, and it was my job back then to go out and wrangle up whoever I could to come into our studio. You know, we'd be let, we got the spinners that way, we got Alan Alda, Billy Joel, and they were promoting Careless Whisper, so we promised we'd, Howard promised he'd play that song. And it was real organic, and the interview went well. You could tell George really totally got the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never gonna bounce again. <clears throat> On my trampoline, no rhythm. No, it's easy to pretend. <clears throat> you know I'm not a fool. <clears throat> I gotta say, I laughed hard when I heard that. <laughs> and I was happy to hear him. Robin, on our phone is our producer, Gary Delabate. He okay. has met Stamos' fiance. Oh, really? Yes, Gary. North Avenue Freeze. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, real quick, real quick. So, Kim Cure, she's a, I, I was a real, real good girl. She was all, she's, on, she's been on a couple Buick commercials. Right. Uh, uh, you know, that's not a beer. Those commercials, John and I. Uh, in fact, John, since he was on my Christmas card, he's even thinking of putting me on his wedding invitations, which is kind of cool. Now, Gary, uh, you didn't tell me you met John Stamos's hot fiance. Right. I, 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 now that he's getting married, will she take on the Remain Stamos name? Um, no, man. Well, that's I, I right. Think we have, I think we have a clip of it on GP page no, I... <laughs> All right, thank you. Right, right. By the way, Gary, Sour Shoes Gary. Yes. Called into Mike Francesa's show yesterday. Oh, yeah? Yeah, here, I'll play it for you. This is a good piece of tape. You'll like this. But game six and seven, I knew there was a lot of trouble when they got back to New York. A lot of trouble lurking because they were out of pitches. Garrett and Greenwich, look at it. Hey, hey Mike, um, I, I'm going to miss you, man. I really am. No, thank you. Appreciate it. You know, I'm just telling my wife, Mary, I was saying, you know, with Mike, and she, she's so jealous because I listen all the time. I was like, with Mike, I've gained a friend. Now, she's so jealous, like, I probably lost a lover, you know? No, nah, well, yeah, I'm sure she'll be around the long term. Go right. ahead. What's up? Right. So I, I was just telling the guys in the back. Um, <clears throat> regarding, you know, the, champ the, league, the league division series is the best of five and the championship is the best of seven. Wouldn't you love to see the World Series be a best out of nine? Because I think, really think, I was just telling the guys in the back about it. You know, you've got... Uh, you know, I uh, just, you know, I try to give him a chance to just get on and get off. Paul and Toto, what's up, Paul? He doesn't get that at all. Uh, I love it. I can listen to it all day. <laughs> <laughs> Telling the guys in the back. Yeah, I'm listening to all the inside references. Yeah. Wife Mary. <laughs> Mayor. Mayor. That is my nightmare. Gary, when Gary tells a story, he, he can go on. I mean, it really can. <laughs> And what was the other thing? Yeah, I've gained a friend, but I've lost a lover. Right, I'm afraid. Because <laughs> Mike's retiring. <laughs> oh, Gary Delabate is on the phone and wants to talk about Kevin Spacey. Okay. Let's, let's, uh, yes, Gary. Clear your throat first. Hello, hello. You know, it's so funny. You know, the, the whole way to rap on Anthony Rapp, uh, Kevin Spacey's accuser. So he goes on the next year to be an adventurous in babysitting. And it's so funny. We had Elizabeth Shue on the show in 1989. And she talked about, you know, this boy coming out to her in a, in a Broadway musical. So then Kevin Spacey goes on and does American oh, Beauty. In thank you. Wow. Gary, 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 Gary from, I can't listen to it. one more of your long stories. You must clear your throat. You know, it's so funny, boss. I, you know how hard it is for me to part with chocolate. In fact, I'm giving out vinyl tonight and shrimp and trampoline. Is that right? <laughs> 
<laughs> For Halloween, you're handing out shrimp and vinyl? Right, all it. You know, and trampolines. And, and Gary, all every one of your stories is fascinating. I must right. Know. But why not tell these stories to the guys in the back? Well, it's so funny. You know, I was just talk I was just telling uh, Scott the Engineer right. about, about the story about this about Anthony Rapp. He remembered that was the same year his son was born. Right, uh, right. Matt, okay, Matt all, right. Was, all right. Oh, boy. Tell that to John Hine. He loves your stories. That is a Gary story if I ever heard it. It was a good story. It just went on a little long. Our producer's on the phone, Gary Delabonte. Yes, Gary. Happy 919. <laughs> Aren't we entertaining today? <laughs> Gary, what's up? I'm just listening to my vinyl of Debbie Gibson. Oh, Debbie Gibson back in the news because I'm dancing with the stars. Uh, Would you clear your throat, please? When I'm lost in John Hyde. Uh, here's our producer, G right, Gary? <laughs> Gary, what's Gary? Really? Gary, what's happening in October? October 9th, it's going to be nine inches of nine cots. Nine, 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 nine